Hey there, hi there, ho there, BQ here with a Destination X preview slash prediction show. I am doing this one by myself here, and I'm just going to take a few minutes of your time. I'm not going to get really crazy and long and drawn out with this one, but um, I'm doing it by myself because I've just, I got a lot going on podcast wise this week. You know, I just had Sienna, I just had Ali. I'm, um, I'm reviewing one I'd only still just reviewed impact this morning. And I got another podcast that I'm hopping on in the afternoon to talk about the company. So just a lot going on. So I just decided, okay, let's talk destination X here, just myself. And then, you know, of course I want to know, um, what you guys think and what your thoughts are in the comments. This is going to be a strictly YouTube upload. This is not going anywhere else. So I really want to know what you guys think and what your predictions are as well. So please tell me in the comments. First of all, I wanna say, I think the build for Destination X was very good. There's um, there's, there's, a, there's potential here. There's an opportunity for this show to just be huge, to be talked about. You know, it's the last live taping of the year. They, they have an opportunity here to really do something to get people talking in a very positive manner. This was a tough set of tapings to get through because the, the El Patron drama happened right at the beginning. And even though they had a couple couple shows where were rated very highly, things have been going down a little bit lately. I think this is an opportunity here to do something very special and have the wrestling world talking. So just getting into the, everything real quick. Um, OVE has the debut. I knew this was happening for quite some time because I'm connected to the team. There's someone, uh, I mean, I don't know them personally, but I, I know someone very close to them. I knew this was happening, but now it's public knowledge. So I don't feel that special, but we're probably getting some kind of squash match. Most likely. I don't imagine. I can't imagine who they would be taking on otherwise. So I would imagine it's going to be a squash match just given how many shows are on this card, but this card is stacked it's featuring all people who can work. It's not, um, they're not, they most likely are not cheating us on anything on here. I, I look at this card and I'm like, there's not going to be a two minute, three minute match. I mean, they're, they're looking to deliver with this thing. And, um, I mean, the, 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 the pre-show is great. The logo is great. The matches are great. So let's talk about it though. So Matt side out versus Lashley shot versus shot. It is implied that Matt side wants an opportunity the X division title. But if Matt Seidel beats Lashley, he is not going to wrestle for the X division title. I mean, let, let's be, let's be honest. Um, it, it's, it's like someone in, you know, in the NFL, you know, my favorite team is the saints. They beat the Patriots and then they just cannot wait for that next game against the Cleveland Browns. You know what I mean? I, I just don't see him going that far down the card. So that's where I'm really interested to see what happens with this. There's no money, none in Lashley versus Patron again, El Patron, none, zero, not a dollar, not a dime, not a penny. So with that being said, and, and even though I think this, this storyline is very Eddie Edwards ish and which I think kind of hurts this a little bit, I think Matt Seidel is going to pull this out and I think he's going to go for the the global championship after this. That is my thought. Um, you know, the money says Lashley is going to win this thing, but are we going to do Lashley in the world title picture again, especially with this storyline of the MMA thing? And I call it a storyline because even though it was leaked to be, you know, real world shit, I think there's a lot of storyline behind it too. It wouldn't be on the show if, uh, you know, cause it's like, I don't, I mean, I don't watch raw, but I'm going to assume there's not people on raw talking about Brock Lesnar going to, UFC, you know, wanting to go back to UFC permanent. I'm, I'm going to assume I, I don't know for sure. And I'm not being sarcastic. I'm just making an assumption. I'm going with Matt Seidel, um, winning this match. Ishimori versus Desmond Xavier. This should be a lot of fun for the super X cup finals. I think they really delivered the, you know, the whole tournament really delivered. And, uh, I think this is going to be a real fun thing. If they continue to do it every year, I really want to see, someone from AAA or Noah hold a title in the company because you can take them off. You can take it off them later in the tapings. You know what I mean? Like say Marafuji won the grand championship. I mean, he could have held it for the tapings, you know, before heading back. So 
I think we already kind of knew Ishimori is going to win this because he was announced for uh, not win the cup, but but win the match with um, ACH because he was announced for being at Destination X. I think the dirt sheets put that out there. So Ishimori versus Desmond Xavier. Uh, I'm going with Desmond Xavier because they've they've pushed him to be the star of this. Like he came out at the end of the handshake and everything. I feel like they've given Desmond, even though his matches were over fairly quickly. Um, I mean, uh, qu- quite a while ago, I should say. He hasn't been on TV in a little while. They're, they've been pushing him as like he's the guy. So I think he's the one that they're going to try to take the X Division to the next level with because I think Matt Seidel and Loki are going to start graduating towards the next step. And I don't think Sanjay is going to be on, you know, he has the creative role, so I don't see him being in the ring all that much. With that being said, Trevor Lee versus Sanjay, Trevor Lee's mic work and heel work has been great. It's been tremendous the last few weeks. But the reason I'm going with Sanjay here, and I thought Sanjay was did a great job in a six-man tag match on Impact. He had a lot of energy, and this was the best I think we've seen him look since he's returned, and he kind of needed that. But Sanjay has, has not been getting much of a crowd reaction, and I think he's got some sympathetic babyface stuff going for him right now. I think he's going to win just because it took him 15 years to win the X Division Championship. Surely he's wants to hold the title on TV a little bit or it actually be around his waist a little bit. I just don't see uh I, I just see him getting his title back. Um this should be a lot of fun though. This should be a, a really really good match. Gail Kim versus Sienna. I was saying on the King of the Mound podcast when I was reviewing Impact, I don't recall there, there being a lot of heat between Gale and Sienna. So when they did their pull-apart brawl the other day, it was fine, but it didn't have that much intensity to it because I don't, I wasn't really buying as a fan that there was a lot of hatred between the two. I know they don't like each other and Sienna hates everybody, but I don't think there was a enough of a build between the two of them to be like, for, for Gale Kim to show up after being gone for months and all of a sudden just want to rip Sienna's head off like I didn't really buy that on Gail Kim's part I think most fans are, are not interested in another Gail Kim title shot you know a random title shot we all love Gail and we're gonna miss her when she's gone and I, I would like her to see her retire with the championship I just don't think this is the time to do it and I hope that they don't do it here I think Sienna's really the only heel right now that that you know they they can really uh sink their teeth into unless they decide, okay, we're going to give Angelina some, you know, Davy's gone. We're going to let her really do her thing now. So being that there was no build up to this and Rosemary has not got her comeuppance in any way, I absolutely think Sienna will win this match. There's no doubt in my mind. She's, she's going to win this one. And then Loki Alberto El Patron. I think Loki is going to win this thing. And the reason I do is because I think I actually think they're going to go with a Matt Seidel versus low key angle for a little, a little while for the title, not an angle, but I think Matt's going to win that, that match. And then I think as a curveball, we're going to get the world title match, the global title match as low key and Seidel down the line, not saying Seidel is going to win or it's going to be a major angle, but I think that's where it's going. But my number one reason for saying Loki is going to win this thing, even though the safe money is that he's not. My number one reason is because there's no way Alberto El Patron is going to beat LAX again. No freaking way. Especially the new member who's supposed to put them over the top. It'd be one thing if LAX was kicking El Patron's ass every single day, every single episode. But El Patron always gets the upper hand on them. So there's no way. No way. He already got his cut muffins like three times. So I just don't see it. I don't I don't see him once again. And this is their opportunity. I can already see the headlines. You know, this is their opportunity to kind of I don't want to say right the wrongs because we don't know what El Patron did right and wrong in the whole page thing. I still stand by the fact that that's a unhealthy relationship, but they have a chance to kind of get away from that a little bit here if Loki wins a championship. If El Patron wins, it's going to be... There, there's going to be a narrative that's going to piss us off the next day. So I'm going with uh, with uh, Loki. 
I just hit the 10 minute mark. So let me know in your comments, uh, in the comments, what you guys think, what your predictions are. And if you have any outlandish things, I, I try not to fantasy book real crazy shit, but I would like to see something new and special and a surprise happen at this show. So let me know in the comments, guys. Please subscribe to the channel. This is BQ and I'm out. <laughs>